Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today we'll be talking about why is the area of the rectangle its length times width. So let's start with this unit block right here. Let's say that this is L. Oh, that is very bright. Let us take a different color. This is L. And this is W. So our rectangle's area is length times width. It can also be length times breadth. There's a lot of different terms for this. And similarly, this is one unit block. So this would just be one and one, which would come as one unit squared. And I feel like a lot of people don't realize this, but a square is actually a rectangle. So if you're wondering why is she finding the area of a square, this also comes under a rectangle. Now, if I add more unit square blocks, such as that, now we can see that I still have one here, but on this side, I have two, which is two times one, which gives me two unit squares. And we can see that we have two, it's one and two, and that's how we got the two unit squares. If I add even more blocks, let's say, how many blocks? Now I have three here, and two on the side. So that would be three times two, which is six unit squares. And we can see that by counting the boxes within this rectangle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's what we got. That's our area. And so that's the reason why we can generalize the area of a rectangle to the statement of length times width right here. That is dark. <laughs> right here. So in this case right here, our three would be our length. My bad. This is our length. And this is our width. So length times width is equal to LW. And if we put that for this example, that would be three times two is equal to six. Thanks for watching this lesson. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, Algebra Star, or visit algebrastar.com. Once again, thanks and stay safe.